they do the same thing on this again. I ended up returning that to Sephora. Why was I about to say latte? <laughs> SPF. So, hold on. Let me swatch it because y'all love some swatches. I honestly feel like I have found my staple makeup routine. Hey guys, welcome back. We're talking about complexion today, girl. Complexion products I cannot put down. Y'all, I haven't been wearing foundation, which is crazy. Like the only thing I've been wearing is either concealer or skin tint or nothing. So I um, gathered up, blah, blah, blah. I gathered up all the products, um, well, all the complexion products I've been using the most and have been loving the most that I want to tell you guys about in front of me. Like they're right here in front of me and we're just we're just gonna talk about it so yeah let me start out with my moisturizer because that's i mean the first thing i put on my face one of them I already used up which is the bioma bioma moisturizing gel cream this is a lightweight oil-free moisturizer and i wear this by itself or with makeup now when i wear this by itself of course i put on a um spf on top but i really like it on my skin it doesn't have a fragrance um and it's just a nice hydrating moisturizer that like i said i wear with or without my makeup um and i've also included well when i was using it because now it was empty but when i was using it i was using it in the daytime instead of at night because at night i usually prefer a moisturizer that's thicker but i started incorporating it into my night routine and i like how it pairs well with my curology cream that i use just like the one, um, the moisturizer that I'm about to show y'all in a minute. But um, this one has been really, really, really good. I was gonna, um, bleep, I was gonna repurchase this, but I decided to get something else, and that is this one from Shani Darden. It's the Weightless Oil Free Moisturizer. In a way, this reminds me of this one. This one is just a little more pricey, um, but they do the same thing on this again like they're lightweight they're oil free they're good with or without my makeup and i've also incorporated this one into my night routine too because this one goes well with my curology cream my curology treatment cream so yeah these have been the only two moisturizers i've been using the most this one's empty as soon as this one um empties i think i'm gonna go back to this or i might try something else because I, I kind of want to venture out and try another moisturizer that's lightweight and oil free. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know, leave it in the comments. But so far, these have been my holy grail moisturizers. They're so, so, so good. Oh, by the way, if y'all don't know, um, I have oily combination skin. So I just get oily on my T-zone and they have been doing wonders on my skin. Um, okay. SPF. So I have a few SPFs that I use, but I think I don't even have that one in here. But the one that I use the most is this one from Charlotte Tilbury. You guys have seen me use this so many times when I'm doing my makeup. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible um, Invisible UV Flaw Invisible UV Flawless Primer. I use this when I'm wearing my makeup. When I'm not wearing makeup. I use the Belief Aqua Bomb and I just repurchased that stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't even have the empty one in here to show you, but I'll leave it in the description if y'all are um, wanting to know which one I'm talking about. But yeah, the Belief Aqua Bomb sunscreen has been my favorite holy grail everyday sunscreen. And then this one right here when I'm wearing my makeup. I also like this one because I can use this by itself. Like I don't have to put makeup on top because it definitely gives me a nice glow to the skin. It doesn't give me a white cast. The Belief Aqua Bomb doesn't give me a white cast either. Um, but they're both really, really, really good. And I highly recommend the two. And then next is this. Okay, now we're going into the makeup. So next, well, this is just a primer, but you know what I mean, is the Hygiene Skinless Energizing and Hydrating Primer Serum. O-M-G, you guys. If you like glowy glass skin without makeup, even with makeup, because I feel like this kind of helps to keep my skin looking glowy when I put on my concealers, my foundations, my tints and all of that. Um, it still kind of gives my skin that 
natural glow but if you like that look invest in this now this is a little pricey but it is so 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 worth it in my opinion um so it has like a pearly glowy um let me show you so it looks like that and once you rub it into the skin it kind of gives you a see that it kind of gives you a golden really pretty gold glow to the skin but once you rub it all the way in i mean it's not gonna look as yellow or as gold as it did but here it is look at that and then compare it to this hand look at how pretty and glowy this is i know it's a primer but i'm not gonna lie y'all i have worn this stuff by itself like put on my spf well put this on first and then my belief aqua bomb spf can be glowing girl it be glowing but yeah this has been another favorite of mine that i've been using so much lately um okay so moisturizer primer now we're going into the skin tints y'all 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 when i say i can literally go through all my foundations and toss them <laughs> i'm not gonna do that though but i like after trying these out wearing them throughout the day i feel like i don't need foundation i really don't need foundation i don't have foundation on today what i'm wearing today is this this y'all this stuff is the truth this is the chanel water fresh tint and i wear the shade deep i've done a full video on this stuff i compared it to the rose ink which by the way I ended up returning that to Sephora because I was using this one more than I was that one. And I figured why well, have both, I like this one more. But yeah, this is crazy good. And it's very interesting. It, like it comes out like water, like it's literally clear, but it has the brown beads in it. So if y'all wanna see the video, I'll have it. I'll try to remember to have it linked in the description, but um, really, really, really pretty on the skin. I mean, y'all, look at my face it literally looks like i have on foundation when i say this stuff is very 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 sheer though so if you want more coverage you do have to build it up and to this day i'm still using my sponge i don't care what y'all say because i know a lot of y'all in that video was like girl why are you using a sponge it's water-based i'm still using my sponge girl i like using my sponge with literally every foundation skin tint water tint there is i just prefer a sponge over a brush that's just me and obviously it works for me so but anyway yeah really been enjoying this right here um i will say though if you don't want to spend that much on this chanel product try the one from rose ink they have it in sephora um i don't know any other skin tints that are like this besides the one from rose ink but try that one because that one's pretty much the same as this and you guys can see it in the video where i tried this out i tried it with the rose ink so i have rose ink on one side and the chanel on the other side and um i tried wearing rose ink by itself to see if i like it more than this and i just kept leaning towards the chanel over rose ink so that's why I returned it to um, Sephora. But like I said, if you don't wanna spend so much on the Chanel, then try the rose ink one. Um, but yeah, love this stuff, y'all. This stuff is good. And it comes with like a cute little brush, even though I didn't use it, but I just wanna let y'all know it comes with a really cute Chanel Kabuki brush. Um, okay. Next, we have the Of Cosmetics Halo Glow, y'all this mixed let me just say all of the like skin tints that i'm about to share i've mixed them all together i've worn them by themselves and i've also mixed them in with a couple of products that i'm sharing today so halo glow by itself beautiful on the skin it gives you a really pretty natural just a natural look and i've also done a video on this one if y'all want to check it out if you missed it but this is very, very, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish. What is, is did I say it right? No, Flawless Filter. And I use the shade 6.5 deep in this. So if you don't wanna spend the extra coin on Charlotte Tilbury, get this one from e.l.f. It comes with the huge doe foot applicator. 
and it works wonders like it looks beautiful on the skin this is the shade what shade do i use um shade six tan deep the perfect 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 shade so yeah this mixed with chanel perfection like perfect it definitely gives me more of a coverage i mean obviously you're gonna get more coverage with this than you are with the chanel because this is like water with you know a little bitty tiny brown beads in it that gives you the tint but these two together beautiful 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 so pretty um and then the other one that i've been loving that i've been using by itself and mix with other products is the new fenty lot why was i about to say latte <laughs> fenty ease drop lit all over glow enhancer so what shade is this this is bronze ja bronze jasper number four so i have been wearing okay when y'all saw me do the video i did this mixed with the chanel um tint water tint after that video i wanted to see how this wore by itself because it does i mean it is pretty shiny like it kind of gives i don't want to say tin foil but okay here it is right there once you rub it all the way, i mean you have to rub this all the way in once you rub it in it just gives a really pretty um glowy tint to the skin so this by itself has been really pretty on the skin and mixed in with my chanel i've also been wearing it with this right here from elf so i'm telling y'all i have not touched any of my foundations none of them like i have them right here in my drawer don't even touch them anymore i honestly feel like i have found my staple makeup routine um but yeah the fenty eavesdrop lit gorgeous and it's crazy because i still have yet to try it out with the um eavesdrop because people are saying that it goes better with that and i have yet to try it with that so i might do another like get ready with me with you guys where i mix this in with the eavesdrop and i use the shade 20 in the eavesdrop if you are wondering but this has been really 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 pretty so yeah i kid you not i have only been using these three on my face when i want to put makeup on now as far as the concealers I have been using the Rim Beauty. So I use this several ways. I use it for my brows to clean up under my brows before I put on my foundation. I also use it as a spot concealer if I don't wanna put on foundation or I'll use it under the eyes. Now, if I use it under the eyes, I use a different shade. This is Tan 3W. This color is good as a highlighting shade under my eyes. It's kinda light. I probably could've went down a notch with this but it's a nice highlighting shade but this shade tan deep no deep 2g this is really close to nars um amand the one i always use this is nars and then this is the new rim beauty concealer i'd say the difference is rim beauty is thicker and it gives way more coverage than the NARS. So that's why um, I like to use it as a spot concealer sometimes because the coverage that it gives, it's like a full coverage foundation in a pot. It's so good. I wouldn't say it's like the Kevin Aquan cause I know that's a popular one too. I wouldn't say it's like that one. Kevin Aquan is more um, creamier than this one. This one is, it kind of feels like the NARS soft matte concealer but it's just, I don't know. It's thicker and it definitely gives way more coverage than the NARS um, soft matte concealer. But this is a really good concealer. If you don't wanna wear foundation, put this on. Just get a color that's close to your complexion and you can wear it by itself. And of course, set it with powder if you prefer to do that. But yeah, love. All right, now update on the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. This is what I have on today in the shade 35N. I did a video on this as well. And I just want to update you guys on my thoughts because y'all know in that video, well, if you watch the video, you um, heard me say that this is um, similar to my e.l.f. Camo Concealer, which is my favorite concealer out of any concealer I've tried. Hands down, this is my favorite. I love it. But I just want to say the one from Sephora is, um, 
I feel like it's more drying than the one from e.l.f. now that I've worn it more, you know, I can really see how it wears on my skin throughout the day. I feel like this one is a little bit more drying than the one from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I still like it. I'm still wearing it, but I just want to update y'all on my thoughts on the Best Skin Ever Concealer. And it's weird because on here it says um, the Best Skin Ever Concealer has a um, natural finish and the one from e.l.f. is a matte finish. It's so weird because for me, the one from e.l.f. isn't as matte as a Sephora one, but still love them. Still use this pretty much anytime I put on makeup. Like I said, I have it on today, um, but I just wanted to really quickly update you guys on my thoughts on the concealer and compare it to my e.l.f. camo concealer. So those are the only concealers I've been using, the Rem Beauty and the Sephora or my e.l.f. Cosmetics. Okay, so the powder I've been wearing, this is the NARS, no, not NARS, but MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This was my old favorite. I used this years ago. So I went back to using it. I used the shade Dark Deepest. So this is what I have on today on top of the Chanel and the um, Sephora concealer. But yeah, I just went back to using this because I haven't used it in a while. It was just sitting in my drawer and it has become my favorite once again. So this is what it looks like if y'all have never seen it before. Really similar. Um, it's actually the same to me as the Sephora Micro Smooth. Um, the Sephora Micro Smooth is a little bit cheaper than the MAC Cosmetics, but to me, they are literally the same thing. I think that's why I've been so hooked to this because I don't have my Sephora Micro Smooth. I ran out um but yeah this is what i'm currently wearing and what i've been wearing anytime i do my makeup and uh, did i yeah i got it right here the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish so this is another product i went back to using and i have hit pan i use the shade dark three um yeah dark three this is the color i use under my eyes i have another one though that i use all over the face okay it's not in front of me but i use the darkest shade which is i think dark no it's deep i use that one all over the face this is the one i just like to put on under my eyes pretty much after i get done with my face so this is like a finishing powder so i'll just brush a little bit we'll pack a little bit under my eyes right here because i still use my sponge when i use this i know a lot of people use a brush with this but I be using a sponge but yes this is also my current favorite complexion product and then the bronzers nars nars came out with new shades y'all if you didn't know they have deeper shades in the cream bronzer and i use the shade laguna number five and this is how it looks this is do i have this one on or the other one? yeah i have this one on today and i don't know yeah y'all can y'all can see the warmth on the forehead the side of the face so pretty but yeah really pretty bronzer really rich it's very close to um anastasia bronzer in the shade chestnut um danessa myrick's bronzer in the shade deep i'm trying to give you guys um a comparison if you already have those um another one a charlotte tilbury bronzer the new one the cream one in the shade do i even have that in front of me i don't dang i don't i thought i did but the new one from Charlotte Tilbury, the darker one, the darkest one. Um, yeah, so really nice. Love how it blends out. It's not patchy. And I've just been reaching for it more than I have a few other bronzers. That one and this one. This is the Beauty Blender, which caught me by surprise, y'all. I didn't think I would like this stuff, but I do. I love it. Now, I will say when you put this on, it's like... It, it actually looks just like the NARS, like the color looks just like it. But Beauty Blender goes on darker for some reason. So once you put it on the face, it looks way darker than it does in the um, little container. And one thing I like about the Beauty Blender one is if you open the top, there's a highlighter. Now, I don't really wear highlighter as much as I did years ago, but I have kind of trickled back into putting on highlighter and I like the option of having a highlighter and a bronzer in one so you can see I've been using this a few times and it's a really pretty gold highlighter and the um it's really bouncy it kind of feels like 
the color pop it's like a putty so here's the color right there really really pretty and then once you blend it out a really gorgeous color for brown and dark skin so and of course i have other shades but this is the darker shade and what is it called deep bronze but yeah girl this one from nars and then this one from beauty blender have been my um the ones i reach for the most when i put on my bronzer which like i said is surprising i've been reaching for this one from beauty blender because i didn't think i'd like it but she is really really nice girl that is it actually i lied i have blush i don't wear blush every day though when i do my makeup um but when i do wear blush i have two well three that i reach for the most so merit this is a newer a newer one in my collection it's the merit cheeky no the merit flush balm cheek color in the shade cheeky and i actually showed y'all this in a recent video where i was getting ready but it's a pretty mauve color um it's really sheer though it's hold on let me swatch it because y'all love some swatches i have to swatch it back and forth a lot to get the color because it's so um it's so sheer but this is what it looks like and i just apply this on my hand like this take my beauty sponge and just tap it or i'll just take my sponge and go on top of it and then press it into the skin either way um that's how i apply my cream brown well cream blush and then this next one i've had this for a while but i i started using it a lot because um i forgot how good it was it's the nude nudist nude sticks nudies all over face color in the shade deep maple so this is what the color looks like it's like a brick red brown mauve more so brown bricky ready than mauvey <laughs> but here's a swatch right there see how pretty that is it's like a terracotta brown color i don't know how to describe it but it's really pretty perfect for the fall and y'all know fall is right around the corner and i like that it has this little even though i don't use it but it has like a little brush at the end so this is perfect to throw in your purse your makeup bag it's just good on the go but this is another one of my favorite blushes that i've been reaching for a lot lately and then the last one is this one right here which i have talked you guys ears off about this i've said too many great things about this blush it's the sephora um matte blush yeah this was just called sephora matte blush in the shade hey jealousy they have so many other colors this color is really really pretty on my complexion let me do a swatch for y'all so there's what it looks like on the finger and then what it looks like swatched really pretty magenta shade really pretty um do i have i don't i do have blush on today and that's actually this is what i have on i think do i have blush on today i do yes that's what i'm wearing i'm wearing this this one I didn't put on too much though so you can barely see it you see bronzer more than you do anything <laughs> but yeah i'm wearing the one from um sephora today that is it yeah because we were just talking about complexion products so <laughs> that's it girl hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with me while i talk about my current favorite complexion products um i'd love to do more of these i just need to try out other products to see if i like them or not so if there's any new products out there that you think i would like or if you just want me to review them let me know what it is leave it down below in the comments and i will go look for those but that is it girl thank you so much for hanging out with me if you enjoyed today's video give me a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next one